How do today everybody? Thanks for clicking the play button and checking out part two to the making of Alan's knife sheath. Um, as far as the tooling that I'm doing on this particular knife sheath, um, Alan's requested that we get some sort of skulls incorporated to this. Um, he collects little skull bobbleheads and little statues and stuff and he has a cool little shelf in his workshop where it looks like he's collecting these things so we're going to try to get a nice sheath um, that has some skulls and stuff on it um, I've already shown you the main idea that I'm still going to keep with for the bigger part of the tooling on this but still on this pouch um, in this original design I had to cut short um, fold over here to where you know it was just in a point but I've changed it to where it's the bigger fold over now so I got a little bit more room to put another decorative piece of artwork on here for him so um, I'm gonna stick with the theme of the skulls for him but um, I'm doing it in two different ways where this bigger skull for the knife sheath itself um, it has the foliage and stuff so I guess we can kind of represent that towards you know the earth and cutting up wood and stuff you know the knife cuts the wood so here's a skull with you know some wood if you don't get some wood or something burning you may be the skull so there's that part and then for the fire kit or whatever he chooses to do with it um, we'll do another little skull and crossbones that has a little bit of fire behind it and I'll try to make the styles match up as much as I can so it's gonna have two little skull sections on this sheath and um, that's gonna be the first part of work that I'm doing with the tooling I'm not gonna video any of that I'm just you guys have seen that in the other videos that I have I'm gonna trace it out I'm gonna transfer it over to this and cut it in and start the tooling process so the next part of this video when I get back you guys you'll see this on the leather so we'll be back and thanks for keeping up with me alright so I've transferred the image over to the leather now Getting ready to take the old trusty swivel knife and cut the pattern in and start the tooling, y'all. Now we'll be back. Okay, Alan, I'm almost done with the tooling on the fold-over strap for your little pouch here thing. And here's the first run, brother. There's your skull. Um, little crack in his head and all that good stuff. Um, when I stain this, I'm going to try to change some of the tones down just a little bit so you get a variation in color. But there's your first little skull on here, brother. I hope you like it. Um, I'm going to let this thing dry up for a little bit. I'm not for sure how long it's... It shouldn't take too long for this thin leather to dry, but... Um, and we'll be back once this thing's a little more dry and I can fold it over and check out everything. So there's that. And from your original little sketch to that. So we'll be back. All right. So we got the stain on. Um, the lighting is kind of funky in here. I only got this stupid yellow light, but you can kind of see there, Alan. There's your first skull. All tanned in. Um, and everything's still drying. Went with the dark brown. And I kind of, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but this is that same uh, brindled look that uh, Jim T's pouch was made in. So there's that, man. Uh, I'm going to let this dry up for a little bit. There's only so much of this that I can get done tonight. i got to let this finish up, and then we're going to start working on the bulk of the knife sheath. So I'll be back when we're doing more. All right. So last step for tonight, what I'm doing um, with this project is I'm um, putting the line 24 snap, uh, snaps into the project. I'm going to turn on this. All right. Uh, got one in. Getting ready to work out the second one. Um, that's probably going to be it for tonight. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I love you guys. Do something fun today.